Debate over body cameras for police officers back in the spotlight in front of a packed city council. In this case, our Cole Miller joins us now live from Vancouver, where just this year there in Vancouver, there have been four officer involved shootings. Cole. And Jennifer, you'll remember that three of those were deadly. And tonight, it was this idea of those body cameras that took center stage. It was a hot topic, despite it not even being on the council's agenda. We're also hearing from the police chief, who says while these cameras do come with benefits, there are drawbacks as well. We need our police to begin to build community trust. And right now we have none. A fracture is being felt. Many of the people crowding into Vancouver City Hall tonight demanding change after what so far has been a deadly year at the hands of police. In February, officers say 16 year old Clayton Joseph refused to put down a knife. He was then shot and killed by a corporal with the department. He didn't have a freaking prayer, even if he had pulled a gun. A week later, two officers would open fire, killing 28 year old Michael Pierce, who was waving replica guns on a street corner. And and earlier this month, 44-year-old Carlos Hunter was fatally shot during a narcotics traffic stop. This string of shootings renewing the calls for new measures. We are asking for dashboard cameras and body cameras to be implemented. Our community needs accountability and transparency from our police. The city's police chief, James McIlvain, calling this a, quote, opportune time to have that discussion. They have their place in uh, law enforcement. I believe, you know, as technology continues to expand in, in our profession, we should utilize it to our advantage. He acknowledges that officers do tend to be more mindful with a camera rolling, but says the downside comes with the price tag. You have to be concerned about policies around them, the costs, the maintenance. Um, and so it's not just a simple, you know, let's turn on body worn cameras and every officer carries them. This conversation is not over, far from it. For now, we'll have to wait and see what, if anything, happens from here. So no action was taken by city council. Again, this was not on the agenda. People just using their time during public testimony to talk about all of this. And in doing so, they also brought up that officers need more training, especially with crisis intervention. And there needs to be more resources available for those suffering from mental health problems. Live tonight in Vancouver, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Certainly a conversation not over yet. Thank you for covering this, Cole.